this video, we're going to go over Tenable I.O. AWS connector for keyless authentication and auto discovery. The benefit for configuring AWS connector in Tenable I.O. is to provide real-time visibility and auto discovery into your EC2 assets. First, what you need to do in AWS is to configure CloudTrail. You need to create a role called Tenable I.O. Connector with the following ID information. You will need your AWS account ID. This information can also be found in Tenable I.O. Guide. So in the policies for AWS, here are the permissions that you would need to follow to configure the policies. The policy, we're going to follow those configuration. We're going to create the Amazon EC2 policy, and we're going to create the CloudTrail policy. If you have organization, you can create organization as well. So once those are created, these will be the permissions for EC2 in this case. And we have permissions for CloudTrail, and then we have permission for organization. Once that is done, we're going to create the role. To create the role, you're going to choose another AWS account. The account ID number is the number you can find in the guide. And then you're going to check off require external ID. So you're going to copy this external ID from your Tenable I.O. connector portal. Once that's done, you're going to go to next. And you're going to choose policies that you created going to add those in. Check here. And check here. You could create tags, but that's optional. And once that's completed, the role name will be Tenable IO dash connector. And there you go, your role has been created. Next, we're going to go to our Tenable IO portal going to create the connector. You're going, to go down to, you're going to go down to settings and then connectors. I'm going to add the connector and choose Amazon AWS. I'm going to create a network called demo. Create a name called demo. So the account ID, this is your AWS account ID. Then you save. So now once that's completed, the status changed to importing. And to check that it is importing your EC2 assets, you're going to go down to assets. Then you will see all your EC2 instances. 